<laughs> Coming next to the stage is a practical joke that I threw into episode one. When my assistant neglected to put any cream in my coffee. So I made a character as black as my coffee. What, you think I was going to be an assistant? No, he was Mexican. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the gungum who gets Paula Dean's racist twat wet. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Jar Jar Banks. <laughs>
Breaking your head looks worse than it's all fucked up than Return of the Jedi? <laughs> You're the ginger? <laughs> I can't do this voice anymore. <laughs> That's right, everybody. Jar Jar is JJ. <laughs> you guys hate Jar Jar Binks? Want to know the real person behind Jar Jar? It wasn't George Lucas or some ghost writers. It was me, J.J. Abrams. J.J. <laughs> is Jar Jar. <laughs> That's right. Jerry Bruckheimer and I were looking for an in with that smug bastard. We took a bag of the finest California crushed kush over to George's house, smoked him retarded, and he started spilling his guts about this new movie he was making. I simply leaned in and said, what about a character for the kids, George? Kids are the ones selling tickets. Look at what it did for Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I mean, nutty professor? That guy used to talk about faggots on stage. <laughs> now he's kid-friendly. He told us he hated the idea. That's what George told us. He said, I hate this idea. He said, our fans will never forgive me. I said, that's okay. Because your fans aren't going to live on the island that you will be able to buy. <laughs> And then I knew later on, I'd have my chance. He'd be sick of the bullshit. He'd be sick of the negative criticism from you guys. And I'd swoop in. And I'd buy that shit up. My friends over at Disney would help me out. Now it's mine. Mine! Mine! <laughs> Listen, go fuck yourself! <laughs> I sort of remember that night. <laughs> well, coming next to the stage, uh, the gentleman who was wedged into the script the last minute while I was experimenting with horse tranquilizers and watching Sesame Street at the same time, I thought, fuck, Grover would be amazing in my movie. If only he was green. Hell, we didn't even ask Frank Oz to do a different voice. We just got 